Dear people around the world, my name is Raquel Carter and I am a student of Sisters Academy of Baltimore. I am speaking to you to tell you about how wrong nuclear weapons are. So many people have died and it's just not right. How would, you, how would that make you feel if some of your family members were in the war and they got killed? So just take the time to think about it. nuclear weapons only give us a false sense of security and would only lead to our own destruction and the destruction of the environment and all animals around us. They do not keep us safe because if we use one then other people use one and the world is gone. It just takes one person pressing one button to send one nuclear weapon up and all of the rest of them react and suddenly just like that everything we do, every, everything we work for whether good or bad, everything, if you're a, a banker, if you're an actor, if you're an accountant, everything we do is gone. It's gone. Nothing. History is gone. There's no history, there's no future, there's no past, there's no present. It's just finished. I am Olga from Russia. I was born and brought up in Soviet times. It was a period of a total arms race. I remember my school years. It was the middle of 80s. Going to bed at night, I prayed for my family and the next day. I was really scared of being bombed at night. Now I am, the I am the mother of two daughters and I don't want them to be scared of these things. Let them see sweet dreams. The governments uh, think that nuclear weapons can uh, protect their countries, but they cause more evil than good and can make some parts of our planet not s suitable for living. If nuclear weapons continue to exist, other countries in the world will want to head them. And if a country is using nuclear weapons, then they're separated from the killing they're causing. My fear is that living in a world where nuclear weapons are present means that we might use them someday. It means that we might encounter circumstances and shortages of food or water. Nuclear weapons create irreversible environmental, social, and political impact. Being that we did not um, eradicate them or abolish them, that it's okay to, to use them and that that's why they're still around. How can we talk about personal security when missiles with nuclear warheads are aimed at our cities? They are ready and wait for a signal. One fatal click could claim millions of lives. Because by just one anger finger, we can destroy the whole civilization or the whole humankind, the whole world. Peace is a very fragile thing. And, and the worst, uh, what can happen to humanity is a nuclear war. War that can destroy uh, the whole humanity. This is a beautiful world. It's full of beautiful nature, beautiful landscapes, beautiful people. And I would like to live in it without the threat of its annihilation being constantly present kind of as a low-level anxiety. What worries me most about living in a world full of nuclear weapons is the chance of something going wrong, even if there's no war. Because I want to live in a world without the constant fear that whole cities, whole nations, and whole lives could be destroyed with one push of a button. Nuclear weapons are immoral, they are illegal, they are a waste of money, and they are an abomination because they kill innocent people. I think every human being deserves the right to live in a safe world with opportunities to enjoy their life and create a better society. So I think it's unfair that certain people have the power to end life and destroy the world as we know it. To me, living in a nuclear weapons free world would mean living in a sense of freedom, free of the threat of an incomprehensible destruction, which seems imminent given the continued investment countries are making in nuclear weaponry. My sister is due to give birth a month from now, and knowing that my niece or nephew and our future generations are protected against possible nuclear war would mean ensuring their safety which to me seems like a basic human right that we should all be allowed. There is no justification for the existence of nuclear bombs and weapons on this planet at all. 
I'm speechless in front of this. And I don't think there is any human being that can actually say and that this is okay, you know? I, I really don't.